This is exactly how to scale your brand with TikTok ads. Whether you want it to be a million a month, a million a year, if you copy the structure, I'll tell you some secrets. I won't tell you all the secrets because I get paid for that. Follow exactly what I'm telling you and I can definitely help scale your TikTok account just with this information. You apply this, I guarantee it improves it at least a little bit. So I'm assuming right now you have a bunch of different campaigns running within TikTok. You probably have a CBO, an ABO, a retargeting, a bunch of different things with creators and what you're running from your brand page. Whatever it is, I suggest just running one campaign and getting that to work first. It's a little different than Facebook. It's still a very smart algorithm. You need to use that algorithm to your advantage. Same thing you do with Facebook. It's not necessarily an ASC type of deal, an Advantage Plus campaign. In TikTok, you need to be running a broad campaign ad set budget. No CBO. I used to do the CBO stuff and all the ad sets that should have gotten spend didn't get spend that's much different from Facebook. Facebook I think is smarter in this sense where it will give something spend if it has a chance. TikTok, when it finds a winner or finds something that get, that's getting engagement, it's just going to give all the spend to that ad and everything else will just get kicked. It will have no spend. It will almost be like it was a waste of time to even create those ads. Ad set budget. I would suggest about a thousand dollars a day in spend slash testing. You could do 500 in scaling, 500 in testing. About a hundred dollars per day per ad set. Each ad set should be its own ad within this one campaign. This one campaign is going to be broad targeting. Don't put any interest in there. You don't even have to exclude any purchasers and you can choose the age range if you like. Don't touch the language, anything. Just basically only connect this to your TikTok shop, your TikTok showcase, because this is going to come in handy when we keep talking about creative. But basically, a lot of people are running their ads from the brand account. They're running all these different campaign structures. Those are huge mistakes and that is probably why it's not working. You're probably confusing the ad account and this is exactly how to simplify it. One campaign and you're running a bunch of different ad sets which will contain the different ads. So in these ads, you're going to run $100 a day budget in each of them and you're going to upload different ads in each ad set. One video typically per ad set here. If you have different variations, sure. If you have different talent, maybe if you have like different angles, if you want to organize them that way, sure. But typically one video per ad set. And if something's working, I'll tell you how to scale that later in the video. But basically, majority of the problem of why a lot of these ads are not working is because these creatives are not made for TikTok. These are made for Facebook. These are made for brand awareness. They are not made for direct response. If you scroll through TikTok, you're going to see a lot of videos that ask for the sale. And that is huge for TikTok versus typically Facebook. Facebook is a bit more education, problem, solution. TikTok is asking for the sale explaining what the product does, asking for the sale. TikTok's audience, whatever you show them, they understand what it does very quickly. You don't need to say, my couch is dirty, I got this extremely high powered vacuum, and now I have no crumbs on my couch. They see the product, they know it picks up crumbs, they know what they can use it for, explain the offer and the deal. This vacuum is the craziest vacuum I ever have. We're actually selling this for $20 right now. You won't even believe it, this doesn't make any sense. Typically we don't do these type of deals. Focus on the offer. All the best creatives I'm seeing right now, are focusing on the deal, the offer, the fact that it's on TikTok shop, which is another point I'm going to get to. A lot of these ads don't need to be a full 30 seconds or a minute in duration. They don't need to be that long of ads. They could be 15 seconds, 10 seconds. And you understand that the consumers on TikTok have a much shorter attention span. They wanna keep scrolling. I probably spend two seconds per video unless it's someone I know or it's something I'm really interested in or it's hilarious immediately. Use that same psychology when you're making your creatives and especially when you're telling your creators to make the content, have them get to the point extremely quickly. This millennial pause thing going on, holding the video, hey, one, two, and then they start talking, it's not going to work. Make sure these creatives are made for TikTok. You're not going to be able to repurpose Facebook ads and put them on TikTok and expect them to crush just as hard or if not better. The biggest problem that I see with TikTok creatives is that they're not made for TikTok. If you make them for TikTok, in the app and then screen record or download and then upload, they will perform much better. Another point I have to say here is that you should not be running your ads to the website. For the call to action, it should go to the TikTok shop. It should go to your showcase. You should be running these ads for people to purchase within the platform. Your ad is going to be valued by the algorithm and by TikTok in your ad account much higher than if your ad takes the user off of the platform. I think Facebook, you know, it's a bigger platform and I think it captures attention a little bit more. So consumers, of course, go to buy the product and they return to the platform. And they're, of course, they're gonna go back, spend their time reading and watching, consuming content. TikTok, I'm pretty sure right now, they're valuing TikTok shop more than anything. TikTok shop, TikTok live, which is a different video I'll make. TikTok shop ad creatives are getting valued much more. If you push these creatives with the call to action, being the TikTok shop to purchase within the app, you're going to get favored. Your brand's going to get ranked more high in the trustability aspect of TikTok and your creatives will just perform much better. No matter how you're running your ad account, and I just explained 
you should be running it very simple. No matter how you're running it, no matter how great your creatives are, things typically burn out in two to three days. You can have an absolute winner getting a $10 CPA, no matter what the cost of your product is. If you're selling a $100 product, it's possible you get a $10 CPA for two or three days. And then you're gonna sit there and try to think, why is the CPA $70 after a few days. I don't know what's going on with that. <clears throat> Hopefully that gets fixed very soon. I think it's because of the, t the attention span. Even if you're spending a hundred bucks per day, a lot of people will see it and I'm sure the algorithm is going to serve it to those people maybe a few times just so they get hit and then they hopefully purchase. But the downfall of that is that people see these ads and they recognize them very quickly and they scroll past. I've seen the same ads for these hair products 10 to 20 different times. The frequency is probably five at this point because I've seen it so many times and I still haven't taken action on the ad. It's a decent ad. I think it's great. I figured it's, I forget the brand. Neutrafol. Got it. Well, I've been seeing that ad probably 10, 20 times. I didn't take action, but I would assume they scaled that ad to probably like $5,000 a day in spend. I'm sure it converts, but the fact that I've seen it and I scroll past it, I think that is what's happening with a lot of consumers. So to beat this and to fix this problem, you need creatives constantly. You need to be uploading new creatives every two to three days so your ad creatives don't burn out. And if they do burn out, that's fine. You have new creatives in the ad account. You're constantly testing, which is why I say to do ad set budget as opposed to the CBO. If you get a winner in CBO, it's going to go to the top, get all the spend, you turn it off, then the next things have to move up the ladder, get some spend. Ad set budget, you understand ad set budget. <clears throat> it's running, it starts to burn out, you turn it off, everything else is still running, it doesn't affect them at all. So you can scale these 20, 40% a day, however they're doing. If they're crushing, absolutely crushing at a few hundred dollars a day, run it up. You know it's going to last two to three days, hopefully longer, but the solution to the burnout is to just continue to produce these creatives for TikTok, have your creators keep that in mind. Make sure the angles are hitting properly. Another thing to note here is that if you have a winning angle, a winning offer, a winning phrase you say in this ad, continue to say that in more of your TikTok ads. You don't need to really innovate. Everyone says like, don't reinvent the wheel. Take that, take your winning ad, and iterate on it constantly. Ask that talent to film more content for you. Try that same script. You can try the same headline, angle, everything. Continue to iterate because at that point, if you found a winner, why not keep drilling into that? So this is exactly how you can scale TikTok ads. Keep it very simple. Continue to make content. The more content, the better. Test everything creative wise. You don't need to test much on the campaign side. Once you get to this point, you can scale individually in the ad set budget. You can eventually start testing more. You can do 200, $500 a day testing budget. You can start crushing. And then if something wins, you know, it's, it's winning at a higher budget. But you know, that's when you have more money to spend on testing and you know more money to scale and that hopefully you're you're seeing success with TikTok ads at that point. But this is exactly what I'm doing right now. This is working for us, working for a bunch of our brands. If you need help, feel free to reach out. I'm happy to tell you what else I'm doing, coach you through it. We specialize in performance creatives that actually cut CPA, increase their ROAS and just perform for our brands. So happy to talk about that. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate it. Thanks.